you can accept who's bon 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 who's bon bon k bon k bon ket is it every time guys every time there's always at least one word i can't read <laughs> What's going on everybody, Hideous Lords coming at you with another Black Desert Online video for console. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new events that have happened after last night's uh, patch update. We're going to be taking a look at the patch notes and um, everything that's going on in game now. Especially we had the uh, Guardian Awakening and Succession uh, drop overnight and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, into it and we're going to... Uh, we're gonna make our way through as usual guys um, there's there's normally a lot of bit of, a lot of information to get through so we'll try and get through it as fast as possible um, so bear with me but uh, without further ado let's get started to uh, start off there is a notice here um, that we will quickly read out regarding account security uh, basically they just want you to change your password lots of times so that you can't remember it um, <laughs> If you're anything like me and uh, and you hate changing your password because you can't remember it, um, then uh, this is for you. Make sure you use a strong password, pay close attention to your password, use lots of characters that are impossible to remember. All right, moving on now, we're going to get into the uh, patch notes. Okay, so um, major updates, the Guardian Awakening. So we went over the... Uh, Guardian Awakening in yesterday's video we had a look at the uh, the, the, um, the skills and the, and the video um, demonstration for the Garden Guardian Awakening skills I must say she looks pretty sexy here you know you can't argue with that so uh, let's uh, let's see what's going on with all of this so the uh, Black Spirit's Rage can now be used for Scalding Thorn the God Incinerator and Cleansing Flame after your Black Spirit Rage reaches 10%, 25%, or 50%, each of those skills can be used by pressing A or X, RB or R1, and RT or R2. Each skill has its own special effect, such as adding additional hits or increased attack range. Um, the Rub Arms for the uh, Guardian, okay, is you can obtain the first skill enhancement at level 56, and the second one at level 57. You must learn the preceding skills to learn the enhanced skills, and you can only learn one of the two enhanced skills available per level. So the first rab arm, which is um, at 56, is um, your two skills, Smash Attack and Mutilation combined, um, which gives you Pulverization. And that's hit damage 803% times four max two hits. Critical hit rate plus 50%. Maximum 10 targets. You get a 5% accuracy buff. Uh, down attack damage plus 5% and magic DP plus 15% for 10 seconds when using the skill. Forward guard, knock down on good hits in PvE and down attack air damage. The second level 56 um, Rav Arm is the smash attack plus mountain slam, the preceding skills, and you get merciless smash. And that gives you hit damage 758% times 9, critical hit rate plus 50%, Maximum 10 targets, accuracy rate plus 4%, um, WP plus 20 on a good hit, down attack damage plus 5% and magic DP plus 15% per for 10 seconds when using the skill, super armor, bound on good hits in PvE and down attack. Now for your level 57 rub arms, you've got Omua's Glare plus blood, Black Blood Circle and that gives you Amua's Circle, okay, uh, pretty creative there uh, with that name, hit damage 860% times 4, maximum 10 targets, accuracy rate plus 2%, applies Flame of the Callings movement attack cast speed reduction effects on good hits, and the second Rab Arm for level 57 is Amua's Glare plus Axe and that gives you Amua's Flame, and that's first hit damage 1,056% times 2, second hit damage 1,056% times 4, maximum 10 targets, accuracy rate plus 7%, uh, 
attack speed minus 15%, cast speed minus 15%, movement speed minus 15% for 10 seconds on good hits. That sounds pretty cool to me. Major updates for the Guardian, Tamer, Mystic, and Valkyrie succession. So we've got also got um, three other characters for the succession release, uh, which is the Tamer, Mystic, and Valkyrie. So you can accept the quest through the new power category in the main quest tab once you reach level 56 or higher, and you must first complete the awakening quest through the quest line and proceed with the succession quest near the spot you complete the awakening quest you can use even more powerful skills using your main and sub weapons by learning succession skills after finishing each class or succession quest so it's the same as all the other ones guys with all of the other um uh characters that have been released in succession so uh major updates crafting elion's tier and crystal extraction tool. So the Elion's tier, if you don't know, that's the um, the item that you use to revive yourself if you die. And the crystal extraction tool is the um, the item that you buy in the pearl shop that helps you extract crystals from weapons if you need to change that. Um, so how to obtain? So you can get red battlefield daily quest reward, uh, exchange the shining medal of honor. You need Elion's tier knowledge and you uh, craft mystical spirit powder times 100 and tears of war. Okay, you can learn about Elion's tier from Vithion's Baluchi, the Elionism priest of Calpheon. Added a new quest to obtain crystal extraction tool and relevant crafting knowledge from the blacksmith in Heidel. And you can accept a new quest once per family with a character level 50. And higher so how to obtain this is for the crystal extraction tool you get uh, tech tekthon and the crystal extraction tool craft magical shard times 10 hand over magical shard times 10 hand over pure iron crystal times 100 okay and it says how to craft crystal extraction tool crystal extraction tool knowledge okay uh, you can craft the crystal extraction tool with the following method after learning the crystal extraction tool knowledge. Um, and you craft the uh, crystal extraction tool with simple alchemy, magical shard times 10, and pure iron crystal times 100. Added the Elion's tier knowledge, which allows you to craft Elion's tier. Added the crystal extraction tool knowledge, which allows you to craft the crystal extraction tool. So they've readjusted the skill add-ons for all classes. Um, and basically, so what they've done is the monster AP damage has been increased. PVP AP has increased. PVP AP reduction. All DP increase. All DP reduction. All evasion rate increase. All evasion rate reduction. All accuracy rate increase. All accuracy rate reduction. Crit hit rate increase. Attack cast speed increase. Attack cast speed reduction. Um... Movement speed increase, movement speed reduction, bleeding damage inflicted for a certain period of time, HP recovery per hit, MP, SP, WP recovery per hit, uh, MP, SP, W re uh, reduction per hit, chance to down smash, chance to air smash, back attack damage increase, down attack damage increase, air attack damage increase, and critical hit damage increase. We've improved the skill add-ons for each class. Previously, you chose two out of six given add-ons and added them to your character skills. But now you can choose the add-ons you want from 24 add-ons. Um, the limitations of the previous system led adventurers to approach the skill add-ons as if there was a correct formula to use them. But with this renewal, we hope that adventurers will be more experimental in their customizations of their skill add-ons according to their play style. We also... Um, also, before we had grouped our skill add-on effects into five levels, for example, the amount of monster AP increased differed depending on the skill, based on the skill's cooldown time and utility, but now we've reduced it to three levels in order to increase their utility. Additionally, we've made adjust adjustments based on adventurer opinions and how the skill add-on effects were being applied to all hits for certain skills. So basically what it said guys before when you did the skill add-ons you had like like uh six um six options to choose from now you can choose 
all of from all of those and it's basically it's just to give you a bit more variety in your skill add-ons just so that every player is a little bit different and doing different things and that no one not everyone is going to be doing the same thing um okay so they fixed the issue where uh the target of successful grab skill would sometimes display irregular movements sorceress changes sinister omen fixed the issue where the sound effect continued to play in the skill demo berserker uh, prime final strike changed the skill description to be more concise valkyrie changed the description to uh, of divine descent to be correctly explaining the actual effect uh, ninja kanoichi ninjutsu ninjutsu shadow stomp fixed the issue where the character's movement distance shortened on good hits while using these skills with an attack speed buff flow sky stepping fix the unnatural movement of the character when comboing into ghost step after using the skill succession ankle cutter fix the preceding skill description to display correct skill name and smoke screen uh, fix the issue where the skill add-on effect would not be applied on good hits uh, striker changes fallout fix the issue where the skill add-ons effect wouldn't activate when the skill was on cooldown infernal destruction fix the issue where the skills add-on effect wouldn't activate when using land busters spiral cannon fix the issue where the skill would only uh, apply six hits instead of seven black spirit skull crusher fix the issue where multiple echo spirits would occasionally appear uh, black spirit skull crusher and black spirit ultimate crush fix the issue where the echo spirits would not appear in skill demo prime rampaging predator Fixed the issue where the commands for the skill would be inputted after Twisted Collision, Prime Somersault, and Rising Blast combo, but Prime Skull Crusher would be activated instead. Combo Whirl Whirlwind fixed the issue where the skill would be toggled, but it would still activate after Flow Death Strike. Succession Flash Step fixed the issue where the skill description included uh, details about guard braces. Mystic Changes changed the description of Iron Fist Fury to be correctly explaining the actual effect. Shy fixed the issue where the color effects of Talent Sprinkle Sparkle would not change when wearing Twinkle Star clothes. Fixed the issue where the character would remain invincible when attacked with a specific grab skill, freeze, and debuff attacks. And for Guardian, Guardians can now open the event premium outfit boxes for all you guys holding on to your premium outfit boxes you can now use them on your guardian um some content changes change the buff effects uh, of challenge daily blood frenzy to be received as a scroll item where they were applied instantly before use simple alchemy to upgrade mercenaries experience and mercenary skill by combining three of each increase the number of red seals obtained from losing in the red battlefield to two seals now any guild member can be appointed as the guild master when the position is open due to issues such as account withdrawal from the former guild master added new guild skills all right guys so there's a few skills here for um new skills for the uh, the guilds what i'll do is i'll link this page in the description below so if there is any guild masters that want to have a look at this you're more than welcome to click this link and check that out. With the skills battle command together being added, you can now use command together in servers where there are uh, no node conquest wars only. With the skill battle reorganization 2 being added, the skill name of battle reorganization was changed to battle reorganization 1. Change the guild members max HP plus 100 effect of call of the Lord existing guild skill to plus 500. Uh, item change added item collection increase scroll advanced 60 minutes you can use heating in the processing window to process item collection increase scroll times two and obtain co uh, item collection increase scroll advanced 60 minutes this is also applied to item collection increase scroll 60 minutes you can use heating in the processing window to split the item collection increase scroll advanced item into item collection increase scroll 60 minutes times two so basically what happens when you combine two of those scrolls together you're going to get item drop rate plus 100 percent and item drop amount plus 100 percent item drop amount effect is only applied to junk items that you can obtain more than one uh, npc background sound uh, move the sailors waiting for their captains at the tavern in Velia so that they won't interfere with the tavern business 
Proix, the owner of the tavern Dancing Marlin in Velia, began to restructure the wharf. Daphne De Lucci in Balanos Forest has put up some targets in her farm to practice shooting, fix an issue where the edge of the world map would be awkwardly displayed, changed certain sound effects in combat to add intensity to battles, adjusted, adjusted the volume of other adventurers to be lowered when fighting a world boss, adjusted the sounds to make your character sound clearer, improved sound for differentiating distance and direction, before volume increased as the sound was closer to the character now it was improved to change according to the camera angle and the location of the character even at the same distance sounds coming from behind will sound smaller than sounds coming from the front improve the sense of direction to be clearer for monster sounds so quest changes quests for returning adventurers have been added various gifts with warm welcome from the villages in Velia, you can ex you can accept the first quest from the Black Desert that would appear in the screen when you make your first login with the returning character. Added two new daily quests to the Grana Cattle Ranch in Camasilvia. You can accept the Path of the Dreaming Shepherd from Rosaria with a level 58 or higher character. You can accept Who's Bon Bon Bonquet? Who's Bon Bonke Bonke Bonquet? Is it? Every time, guys. Every time. There's always at least one word I can't read. From Povios, the Zion merchant from Calpheon, after completing the renewed Camasilvia main quests and reaching level 58 or higher. Two new quests above can be found in Camasilvia contribution from quest recurring. If you have accepted Carriot delivery, you cannot accept uh, who's... I'm going to say Bon K. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Whose Bon K is it? And vice versa. If you have accepted even the smallest of life uh, repeat quest, you cannot accept the path of the Dreaming Shepherd and vice versa. Allowed all classes to be able to get skill books from Cruhorn Worms, Wormsby, Wormsbane in Heidel after completing the Awakening Succession and Talent quest. UI changes. Loading status will be displayed on the screen when first logging in. Uh, fix an issue where skill effect details longer than a certain length would be overlapped with skill descriptions in the skill window. Added a feature when you will be moved into the pearl box category when you lack pearls when purchasing a product in the pearl shop. That's a bit sneaky. Like enticing people to buy pearls. Like, hey, you've got none, but look at these on display. Buy some pearls. Okay, changes and fixes. NA server, Calpheon 2 and Balanos 2 servers can now make a reservation for the arena of Asha. Fix the graphical issue with some regions in front of Balanos. Fix the issue where the caution message, message would sometimes not appear when, when enhancing your equipment. Relocated Fulgar and Marnie to, not, to be not in the way of adventurers. Fix the issue with incorrect font color being displayed after line breaks in certain chat messages. Fix the issue where the node guild information did not fit in its window while viewed on the world map. And fix the issue where the UI scroll would not uh, would move awkwardly when shifting to certain skills in the guild window. The key guide for learn skill will not be shown to guild members that cannot learn guild quests. Fix an issue where the UI of the guild introduction button would look abnormal when played in French, German, or Spanish. Fixed the incorrect outfit descriptions displayed after using the equipment tailoring coupon. Fixed an issue where a part of the skill enhancement UI in the skill window would look awkward when logging in with the archer or shy. Improved some sentences for better understanding and fixed typos. And fix an issue when some backgrounds would be displayed abnormally. Okay, guys, so that's all of the patch notes. Um, let's get into the events that are going on um, right now. So, um, <clears throat> again, guys, we do have the succession level up event. This is round four. As we said, the Tamer, Mystic, and Valkyrie have um, now got their succession. You guys are able to get succession. And um, for the... Um, level up for the level up event for succession you guys can now um, earn some rewards for doing that include uh, same as all of the other ones combat xp scrolls extra skill xp scrolls um item collection increase scrolls 
blessed message scrolls you can get 50 million silver for getting it to level 59 and advice of alks 35 to 45 when you get to level 60 so it's exactly the same as all the other ones guys um tamer mystic and valkyrie you guys now get succession all right moving on uh the first uh the second event bountiful thanksgiving okay so a bountiful harvest awaits you in the in the world of black desert this thanksgiving season just harvest seed potatoes and take care of the turkeys to get tons of rewards event one unseal the advice of valks so log in every day to get seed potatoes plant the seed potatoes to harvest potatoes of good harvest exchange the harvested potatoes of exchange the harvested potatoes of good harvest for cleansing advice or milk log in weekly to get the sealed advice of valks combine the cleansing advice and sealed advice of valks obtain the real advice of valks event number two moles plant the seeds defeat the moles that appears when you are harvesting get tons of materials for stone tail fodder event number three scared turkey defeat monsters to obtain the traces of turkey defeat the scared turkey obtain cron stones and memory frags event number four wacky toshi fill three money stones number two obtain advice of alks plus 40 from wacky toshi and event number five talking about turkeys accept the quest to defeat turkeys from npcs in towns and cities defeat th three of them and get a variety of buff items and event number six defeat targargo and targaga that appear at finto farm and get a variety of accessories and gear enhancement materials okay so that's pretty cool if you do enhancing like i do you have a chance to get advice of alks stone tail fodder if you want to do do your dream horse awakening attempts cron stones and memory frags always useful okay so the rest of this information on this page is just going through it, um all of the events in detail it's got the dates here for the uh the logins and what you need and it explains in detail what you need to do to get all of uh all of these advice of alks etc so what i'll do guys is i will link this page in the description below so that you can use this for reference and you can come and have a look at all of everything in detail and you can see exactly what you need to do to uh, accomplish all of those um, events all six of those events all right next event the mysterious knight appears uh, basically this guy is just going to pop up in random spots across the world of black desert and what you're going to do is if you find him and you talk to him you get a xp a skill xp buff uh 100 this uh lasts 180 minutes and um if you go back and talk to him later uh you're going it's just going to top it back up to 180 minutes it doesn't stack and stack so um no matter how much time you have left if you click if you talk to him again you're only going to go back up to 180 minutes okay so that's for a skill um plus 100 percent xp buff all right and with the last event it's the um reaching beyond awakening and in succession guardian level up event so complete the awakening and succession quest and reach level 61 during the event period to obtain the following items through challenge complete guardian awakening quest uh you're going to get a gold bar 1000 g so that's 100 million you're going to get an item collection increase scroll complete guardian succession quest and you're going to get another 100 million and blessed message scroll times three and if you reach level 61 you're going to get another 100 million and you're going to get an advice of alks plus 50 so this is running from today until december 16th for those in asia and eu and the 15th if you're on na so there's a chance to get another 300 million silver and advice of alks plus 50 and some scrolls if you get your guardian through the awakening and succession quest and you reach level 61 okay event number two in an aid in celebration for guardian awaken and succession has arrived so all you got to do guys is be on the game during this period here um and you're going to get this so if you're on for 30 minutes you're going to get the awakened sonal siege captain scroll 60 minutes you're going to get three cron stones 90 minutes you're going to get a blessed message scroll times one and a valks cry times two and two hours you're going to get loyalty points 100 and item collection scroll times 100 okay this challenge can only be completed once 
a day per family and it's available every day all you do is just be online after the reset each day um, to get all of those rewards so event number three gather gather holy flames so the guardian has regained the power of the enix seed revive the unstable ember with the power of enix to turn into a cron stone all right so during the event period just log in and receive the following items from the challenge guardian awakening event collect holy flames you're going to get this uh unstable ember during the event period you have a chance to obtain the remnant of enix seed by defeating monsters gathering and fishing with the um, unstable ember and the remnant of enix you can finish the uh, event roaring flame so with the materials you need is the unstable ember times one remnant of enix times one so you heat that up using the the heating process um, the heating option in the processing and you're going to get um what you're going to do is you're going to either get back one unstable ember or you're going to get a dim ember well after if you get the dim ember you use the dim ember times one and the remnant of enix seed times two heat that up and you're going to get either a dim ember back or a burning ember. If you get the burning ember back, you use that with the remnant of an X times three, you heat that up and you're gonna get either a burning ember back or you're gonna, gonna get a roaring flame times one. After, if you get the roaring flame times one, you're gonna give that to the NPC Alliston and Velia and you're gonna get 10 cron stones. Okay, so that's it for all of the events, guys. Now, just some Pearl Shop updates. Let's see what's going on in the Pearl Shop. Um, doesn't she look fine, guys? I mean, you know. You wouldn't say no. You wouldn't say no. All right. 30% um, off of the Guardian Awakening Pack 4,830 Pearls, which is the Nictra Premium Set, Blessing of Camasil 15 Days, Secret Book of Old Moon 15 Days, Emperor Hawk Pet, and Item Collection Increase Scroll times 10. So the Guardian Full out Outfit Pack, you get that uh, Muebus Classic Set, Nixra premium set and the Karoxia classic set 30% off 6,440 6, pearls double classic pack uh, Moonlight fairy classic okay and uh, this is for the tamer 25% off 4,350 pearls uh, for the Valkyrie double classic pack 25% off and for the mystic double classic pack the Kamzin classic set 25% off dark artisan pack you can get uh, artisan memory 30 cronstone 200 advice of Valks 20 advice of Valks 35 45 and Valks cry times 10 and you also get to choose artisan memory times 10 or 50 cronstones that's 30% off for 2223 pearls uh, dark artisans pack we can get 70 artisan memory 500 cronstones advice of Valks 20 advice of Valks 50 uh, Valk's Cry 20 and the Advice of Destiny and you also get to choose the Mystical Artist Memory Bundle or, or another 100 Cronstones. That's 30% off for 5,406 Pearls. Okay, with the uh, Mystical Artisan Memory Bundle, which is this one here, you have a chance to obtain um, Artisan's Memory, Cronstones, Memory Frags. Okay, so you can see the percentages there and uh, all the way from 200 artisan memory 120 cronstones 100 cronstones 40 uh, memory frags 30 memory frags and you can see the percentage chances of each of those um sale 10 pearl event items so this is looks like it's a calendar for the event um, release each day they're going to release one item and they're going to be severely discounted unknown dry unknown die box bundle so instead of 120 pearls they're going to be 10 pearls mount skill change coupon times one 10 pearls extra mount xp scroll um 10 hours 10 pearls so artisan memory times two megaphone times 10 aliens tier times one black spirit essence times one supreme old moon scroll times one aliens blessing times one ornate's dark honey wine um black spirit scroll set extra life xp scroll times one item brand spell stone Arden's memory times two alien's blessing times one all of them are 10 pearls and you just get one each day you just got to log in and grab that every day sales by category so with the um category for the maids campsites pets and interior items they're all 20 percent off Arden's memory are 30 percent off 
um, Thayer's Orb times 10, 50% off. Ornit's Dark Honey Wine, 11, uh, 22 pack, 50% off, 1500 pearls. Character name change coupon, 50% off. Morco's Gear Bag, 50% off. Uh, succession costumes for the three characters, 2,900 pearls as always. And the Guardian event outfits and the uh, and the uh, classic set costumes. So 3,400 pearls for the um, camouflage outfits and 2,900 pearls for the outfits. All right, guys, that's going to be everything. For those of you who've stuck with me through to the end, thanks so much. We're at 60 subs now, guys. Oh my God, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you um let's go ahead and try and get us to 100 subs so that i can live stream on youtube um that would be amazing but that's it for today's video guys i appreciate um you watching hit that thumbs up button if you like the video let me know in the comments what you thought about the video and what you thought about um the events for this period and what you think about the succession um for the new characters and the awakening succession for the guardian uh again if you haven't subbed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you can get notified on future videos uh, like this and all other videos for Black Desert console related. Uh, again, thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.